there. I'm Michael Hill with Canine Chronicle TV, and today I am joined with a group of golden retriever enthusiasts. We have Michael Faulkner, Bruce and Tara Schultz, Jeff Pepper, and Wayne Cavanaugh, and we're all going to be sharing about Connie Gerstner Miller, who was an icon in the golden retriever world and a dear friend to all those here. And as somebody who uh, never got the chance to meet Connie, um, let's start with you guys telling me about who she was and what she was like as a person. Can I start? Go ahead, Bruce. After, Go ahead. Your, after your introduction and all that kind of stuff, she must be here with me because my whole body started tingling and goose had goosebumps on my whole body. So... She was a wonderful person, and I don't think a lot of people know how wonderful she is or was, and very, very giving and understanding, but very much a hard-nosed person that did what she wanted to do and kept it going her whole life. So that's one of the things I wanted to say. Oh, Tara, you were close with her too, right? Yeah, she was like a second mother to me. Jerry, Connie, all of that. She was so instrumental in what I picture Golden to be and what I strive to maybe show and breed ourselves. Jeff, how did you first meet Connie? I'm not really sure. Uh, obviously, it is special to somewhere and... We, we talked about it, and, and uh, the best we could come up with was in the 70s somewhere, but, you know, probably in national somewhere in, in, in the 70s. I, I would suspect Fort Wayne would be a possibility, uh, 75 maybe, 74. I don't know. Long time ago, long time ago. <laughs> when I lived in California... Uh, Connie had a place, uh, Connie and Fred actually had a place in Carmel about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes from where I was. And we got together quite often that way. So I saw her a lot during that time. We went out quite a bit during that time. Michael, how about you? I first met, uh, like Jeff, it was 1974, 75. And it was a dog show in um, in Michigan, and uh, um, it's I can't pinpoint the exact time or date, but I just wanted to piggyback on what Bruce said that you know one thing you know I took the takeaway for me and having known Connie and and having called her a friend is that the one thing I admired more, more than anything was her steadfast commitment to her own truth, and she never wavered at all on what she believed um, that, that were the ideals for for the golden retriever and for the sport. And um, we didn't always agree, but I just loved and admired and respected her for her commitment to what she believed. Mm, that's awesome. What was, what, tell me a little bit more about her kind of biographical background. How did she first get into dogs and how did that progression go for her? 